guys, here I am with my February favorites. I am I have a few beauty products, some jewelry pieces or accessories, whatever you want to call them. Um, pardon my hair. My hair is a mess. It's just thrown up in like one of those. I can actually put it in a ponytail now, but it's all over the place. So I know hairs are sticking out. Um, Quite honestly, I just don't care. First up, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and this Hakuhodo fan brush. Now, the reason for the fan brush, remember I was telling you guys I wasn't sure if I really liked the highlighter. I thought it was just a little bit too much for every day. So I was trying to figure out ways to put it on my face without it being too stark and too heavy and too just unnatural looking and this brush it almost like melts it in onto the cheekbones so what I do is just take a little bit on the brush and then simply just kind of like do this motion whatever this might be and it just seamlessly applies it I don't have to worry about it being like BAM in your face and it just looks really natural so I've been using this brush with it and then the contour side or the shade side this is I have it on now I use it more of like a bronzer slash contour I can get away with it uh, it is super pigmented so you only need a tiny 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 bit I went overboard accidentally so I just literally all you do is boop in the brush and this is what you get with just one tap and that's pretty much all you need so I've really been enjoying this and I'm again super happy that I purchased it and I um, took the plunge okay next favorite is an oldie uh, or rediscover if you want to call it and this is the boots line and define lip pencil in 20 nude this I purchased at Target. Uh, that's the only place that I know that this is available in the States. I could be wrong. Maybe uh, Ulta might have it as well. But it is, it's just a pinky, natural, nudie lip liner. And what I've been doing with this is I've been laying my entire lips or filling in the lips and just throwing some lip balm uh, over top. And it's just a your lip, but better color. But I don't know what it does. It just gives them not life but <laughs> it just makes them look nice and plump and healthy and this is a mechanical one so it has a sharpener here at the bottom of it but it's just a the perfect lip color like you can throw this in your bag and a lip balm and you're good to go so I that's what I've been doing uh, if I'm not wearing this combo that I'm, I have on my lips which I will talk about in a second Next favorite is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in Ultra Black. <laughs> uh, this is just a liquid liner with, it's not even a felt tip, it is a synthetic bristled tip and it is so sharp and fine. And I did a whole post about eyeliner a couple days ago or maybe last week. And I mentioned this because initially I purchased it, it was great, the, the bristle itself, that's what I liked most about it, but the formula, I wasn't too crazy about it because it wasn't super dark, and I like a real dark uh, eyeliner. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just because it has one of those, like it's one of those shaky ones. I don't know if it's because you need to shake it a little bit or if it came in contact with air. But somehow the formula has gotten darker, I've realized, as it keeps coming out of the pen. And uh, it just, it's such a good eyeliner to be from the drugstore. And uh, it has a lash boosting serum infused with it somehow. I haven't found that my lashes have gotten longer, but I have I have full lashes as it is, but they've gotten even fuller, and I can see little hairs starting to uh, grow in between my, the lashes that I already have. I've noticed a tiny bit of length, extra length, not too too much. But then again, I don't wear 
eyeliner uh, every single day so this piece of hair is bothering me I know it's bothering you because it's like flopping around and I can see it um, this is a bad idea wasn't it just to do this bun thing so I got a couple of questions about this uh, actual like lip combination and it's nothing that I haven't tried before it's something that I always come back to I forgot about them which is weird but I have to say that this has to be my favorite lipstick of all time and I know that's a very bold statement but I always come back to it always come back to it it is Maybelline's truffle teas um, I actually have just that much left I use it all the freaking time no matter what look I'm trying to look for it's almost like it's my perfect uh, nude and uh, I don't know I don't know if it's limited edition or not but I saw them at my local Target so I need to pick up at, at least a couple more just so that I have uh, back stock but it's just I love it I absolutely love it and no matter what look I'm going for whether it be daytime, nighttime, I can get away with wearing it. And recently what I've been pairing it with is Max Strip Down Liner. I will go ahead and just, you know, draw the line, fill in the lips slightly, uh, put this over top, pat it in, and then just a teeny tiny touch of the Burberry Lip Glow and Nutmeg. And this is the same color of the lipstick but just a gloss form and it's just a pretty um, neutral browny shade and it almost has a slight hint of mauve to it but not just again tiny bit uh, I think nutmeg the name of it is just a perfect description of it but these three have been on my lips the other day I tried to rock, you know, a peach cheek and lip, and I'm just like, man, I'm really not feeling it. I don't know if it's because it's still snowing outside, but I have completely converted to the brownie nude shade. So these three, especially this one, like it's like four or five bucks. Try it out. It's such an awesome shade. Now, a completely different side of the spectrum is the Marc Jacobs. Uh, these are their new uh, lip creams or lip cremes. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is in the shade Blow. I wore this in a blog post. I actually spoke about them. They sent me several different types of reds for different skin tones. This just nailed it for me. I, I'm a lip a dark lip addict um, just a lip addict in general but if I'm not wearing a brownie nude I'm wearing a bold lip and chances are I'm wearing a dark vampy lip but this is just a nice berry um, deep plum and it's not as dark as the NARS matte lip pencil in I think it's train blue that one's definitely more purpley but this has a little bit of red tinge to it but it's just a beautiful shade and Marc Jacobs lipstick uh, packaging. It's magnetic, it's nice and sleek, really pretty. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing this and the nude lip. Now last favorite I said were some accessories and um, the first one being my Movado watch. I did a collaboration with them I think at the beginning of last month I'm not too sure but I'll link it down below and I styled three different watches that they sent me and at the end of it they were kind enough to gift me a watch and I ended up choosing the last one that I styled just because it's completely it's so it's different um, you guys know that I don't like to mix metals so when I saw it I was like oh that's really different but it's rose gold and silver. The inside, the dial is uh, rose gold along with the little uh, circle. And then if you look inside, it has like a rose gold rim um, on the face. But the rose gold is so subtle that I think mixing it with the silver just makes it look really nice. I think if rose gold and gold were put together, it wouldn't look as good as these two do. Or maybe just the way the rose gold looks because 
there's some rose gold items that are just pow, really pink and very stark. I just like a subtle rose gold, or at least that I've found. And um, I went ahead and ordered some rose gold stacking rings. I got a rope one and then just a, a regular plain band just to add um, some versatility to stacking um, my stacking rings. To add some texture to the stacking, I went and ordered these tiny ball gold, or not gold, um, these tiny ball chained silver rings. Now I saw them on Catbird uh, NYC in gold, but I didn't see a silver. And uh, I think, I believe that those are just a tad bit thicker, these are real thin. But these are so dainty, I got them off of Etsy. And I don't get I didn't get them from my usual uh, shop because they didn't have these. I got them from a different shop. I will link it below if you're interested. But they're so dainty and thin, and they catch the light when you move your hand. And forgive my rubbish nails; they look like shit. Uh, <laughs> I had a dark red polish before this. I think it was like a Burberry polish, and I was being lazy and didn't put a base coat. So now they're like stained, but uh, anyway, they just catch the light and they just add a little bit of texture to the plain bands. I have a rope band, I have like a hammered one, the real thin smooth ones, um, and now these little tiny ball chain ones. And I have one here and uh, in between the stacks just to add something extra um, I like simple things, but I pay attention to detail, so I like the fact that it has all these different textures. So next month should be fun and exciting. I'm trying out a couple of different things. Uh, this month was just real short and quick. I've been using the same makeup products, so there wasn't really anything different. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye!